Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Deborah, and I'm the community health nutritionist with the Northwest Bronx Food Justice Project. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a very simple breakfast option recipe, okay? This recipe is a recipe I use all the time at home, and I'm hoping that it's something that you can start using at home. It's a very good recipe for people who are concerned with high blood pressure, also known as hypertension. Um, and the reason it's great is because all the ingredients that I'll be using has high fiber, there's a lot of potassium here, um, foods with magnesium, uh, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and start sharing with you the ingredients that I'll be using today, and then we're gonna do our recipe together, all right? So, and I want you to try this at home, and when you do, let us know what you think about it. All right, so I'm gonna be using some oats, okay? This is just your typical oats, and I think everybody in America has one of these in their household, right? Um, Quaker oats, so you can use your regular Quaker oats. This is a one mid oat, um, and this is actually 100% whole grain oats, okay? So this is actually a good option if you happen to have that, but use whatever, um, oats you happen to have at home, okay? It's gonna be totally fine. So first we have our oats, um, and what we're gonna be doing with that, we're gonna be making sort of like a, um, a smoothie bowl, okay? So smoothie bowl with fruits. Um, so let me just get through the ingredients. I'm gonna be using a plant-based milk today. Obviously, whatever milk you have at home, feel free to use it. I love um, eating plant-based, and so that's why you'll always find me with plant-based milks. All right, so this is an almond milk option. That's what I'll be using for the recipe. Um, I'm gonna be topping everything with some berries, which are really great. Um, they're high in antioxidant, but more importantly, they also have potassium, which is great, again, for heart health. And anything that's good for the heart is gonna be good for what? High blood pressure, right? All right, um, I'm also gonna be throwing in some nuts um, in this recipe as well, and some chia seeds. Now, if you haven't heard of chia seeds, something you should look into. I love to introduce you to new things. And so if you're not aware of chia seeds, look them up, they are great. I'm just gonna let you know right now, again, high in potassium. And it also has iron and calcium, and you know calcium is great for the bone. But today we're focusing on high blood pressure, so let's just keep that focused, but it has a lot of great nutrients, which is excellent. All right, so for this, creating this recipe, you're going to be needing either a blender, or what I tend to use a lot is my Nutribullet, all right? So basic Nutribullet, we're gonna be blending everything up in here, um, and that's basically it. So I've already shared with you the ingredients, now I'm just gonna go ahead and put them all in. So, oh, I almost forgot, another great high potassium food, banana. And these are great because we're gonna put it in our smoothie, but also you can take one to go, right? You can walk with one as a snack, um, that you can have with you. And it's the same when it comes to the berries. You can always have that on the go. All right, so let's go ahead, guys, and start putting this very easy recipe together. Okay, so now you have a better view of my table. I'm gonna be basically putting in all my ingredients. All right, so let's just go ahead and get started with that. So once again, here we are. I have my Nutribullet. I'm gonna be putting in all my ingredients. So let's get started. All right, so first we're gonna throw in our oats. And that's one cup of oats, okay? Again, feel free to use rolled oats. Any oats you happen to have at home is gonna be totally fine. All right, we're going to, let's just move those over here for now. We're going to be using a cup, maybe a cup and a half of the almond milk, all right? So let's measure out a cup to start. Hang on a second. Measure out a cup to start. All right, so that's one cup of almond milk. Once again, guys, any milk you have at home is totally fine. And this also has high calcium as well. All right, so we're going to be including in this our banana as well. All right, so let's get our banana. I'm done with that. So I'm gonna be just cutting the banana into the Nutribullet here. And remember guys, you know, this is a breakfast that is going to be low in sodium and that's why I'm recommending it because a low sodium, high fiber, uh, lots of nutrients is what you need when you have concerns with hypertension, okay? So now we're ready to blend this all up, okay? 
okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do that hope you guys will be able to see i'm here okay <laughs> So we want it to be a little bit thicker. And so for that reason, let's just see the thickness of it, okay? Actually, it's pretty good. It's perfect. All right, let me try it. Mmm, it's very good. All right, so now we have our bowl and I'm basically going to be pouring my smoothie in the bowl. Need a little bit that's perfect now what we do is we're going to be dressing mm. <laughs> delicious let's go ahead and dress this up okay so because we know that banana has a lot of potassium we're gonna go ahead and put some more banana right and you can use a half it's up to you right so this is all based on your preference Whatever topping you like, you go ahead and you put that on the top, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on here. Just put a little bit more. So that's about a half a banana, guys, okay? Ah. Okay, now I would also like to add the rest of my berries, the rest of my fruits rather. So these are the berries. So I'm gonna be adding strawberries. And the fresh fruit, like I said before, again, high fiber, potassium. Oops, that wasn't supposed to happen. It's okay. Okay. And we also have some blueberries, so we're gonna put that on as well. And to finish off, I'm gonna put just a small bit of the almonds, just a couple of almonds. And finally, and last but not least, actually I have two more things to add. I'm gonna be throwing on a small teaspoon of chia seeds okay and then there we go i am also going to be adding finally this is going to be the last thing we're adding it's going to be a little coconut flakes oh look at this this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so here it is guys this is our breakfast smoothie bowl and Okay guys, so we're all done. This is my smoothie bowl with tons of nuts and seeds and uh, fruits. Looking forward to trying it. But before I go, just wanna encourage you when it comes to hypertension or high blood pressure, that you try to find options such as this one, which is high in fiber, has lots of potassium, which is great for heart health. Foods like these are going to be a great option for you if you're looking to reduce your high blood pressure, okay? So definitely try this at home. Let us know what you think. Come back, leave a comment, and let us know what you think about it. I'm about to try it, um, and then I'm gonna say goodbye again. My name is Deborah, and I'm the Community Health Nutritionist with the Northwest Bronx Food Justice Project. See you on the next video, and I'm looking forward to hearing back from you to see how you like this delicious smoothie bowl. So let's try it together. Mm. <laughs> absolutely delicious super healthy but it tastes so good <laughs> something you have to try all right guys so thank you for watching once again deborah from the northwest bronx food justice project